I guess I guess we're gonna attempt to start up. We'll see how long it takes to get through this DLC. Normally I'd just say fuck it, let's be done, but I kinda don't wanna play this tonight. <laughs> I'm really done with this game. I don't want to spend another evening playing through all this chaos. Cause I'm no scrub. I'm not a beginner. I'm not a beginner. Wild child. Oh, I bet you it's the little cave child. Hell's where the heart is. Neat. Maybe we're a demon baby. Demon babies are great. Chaos. Hey there, little missy. Why don't we hang out for a bit? Hey. I guess she's just shy or something. Well, there's no reason to rush things. Now that I've renounced my vows and stopped being a monk, I can play the field all I want. Say Kichi is a poop head. Oh ho! What a truly miserable looking face you have there. Get him, old man! What's with you? Insulting my appearance like that all of a sudden? You might want to look in a mirror before you start talking about my looks, old man. Good comeback, kid. Call the old man old. That's how you insult people. You got him. You got him. Real, real, real intelligent there. Brutus. That's not what I meant. It's not your face that looks horrible, but your countenance. Ooh, cut him even deeper. That's a double hit. You're obviously one who will never have luck with women. I like how his sandals have lifts in them. He's like walking on stilts. What are you, some kind of fortune teller? Foretell away, but don't expect me to pay you anything. Why don't you go look for customers somewhere else? I have no need for your money. Just listen and pay heed. Your visage is definitely out of the norm. If you stay on your current path, you will meet a number of women, all of whom will bring you great misfortune. If you wish to avoid such a fate, return from whence you came. Foul demon, return from whence you came to the ocean. All gross things come from the ocean. Are you saying that I should go back to the temple? Don't be stupid. There's no way that's happening. And if what you say is true, what's wrong with meeting women? I like women. He's pervy. He's too pervy. Hmm. Didn't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. What happens now is entirely up to you. I see what's going on here. You brought up that no luck with women BS because you saw me get rejected earlier. If I had my game face on, she would have been all over me. I don't like this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't like it. The old codger disappeared. Didn't even have the courtesy to listen to what I had to say. Oh, he turned into a peach. Eat the peach. Hold up, is that a peach? He must have dropped it. I guess this is decent enough compensation for all that crap I had to take from him. <laughs> Dude, he has such a chad walk. And he tucks his hand into his belt. I hate this character. I hate him so much. Ah, uh, in the, in the... Ugh. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Now, what do we have here? I know exactly what this man-eater wants. A bad boy like me. It's creepy. Hey there, you're looking awfully lonely. I got a little time to spare. No need to be shy. I know how to please a woman. Why don't you let me show you a good time? Yeah, you hit the wrong part of him. Punch him in the dick. Let me carry all that stuff for you, or better yet, why don't we take a little break under that tree over there? What do you say? Looking for a good time or something, you bum? You better put your feet back on the ground before you get smacked down onto it. All right, mom. Stupid hick. Yep, yep, this guy's great. He's great. Oh, it's Momohime! How you doing? 
What a beauty! What's a beauty like her doing out in the sticks? She's probably the rebellious daughter of some well-to-do family. Now, how do I go about getting into her panties? I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. Wait a second. She looks like some kind of demon child. She must be here to wreak havoc on someone's life. What? Why is she staring at me like that? Is she after my peach? They had diapers. Have you seen the fruit roll-ups that the guys wear? They're totally panties. If you can feel the pain of a butterfly mesmerized by the sight of a flower, hear my plea. I fear I have become enthralled by your beauty, testing my oaths as a monk. They have fundoshi. Lol. Yeah, diapers. There is even the slightest chance of becoming your betrothed. I'd gladly suffer the agonies of hell. I only ask that you do me the honor of accepting my love for you. Pooping in nature is a sin in Japan, and you must die for that. So you have to poop in your panties. Hence, diaper. Rolled up towel diaper. Rolled up towel diaper. You just take a turd in there. And then you roll it up, and you throw it away. Sure. I have no idea what's going on here, as I've never been courted like this before. But since you feel so strongly about it, I suppose I could become your bride. Don't worry. It's okay. She's a 30,000-year-old demon child. Oi. Oi. Where did the girl who was just sitting here go? If you're talking about the monster girl, she took off after finishing her rice ball. What was that? Where do you get off calling anyone a monster girl, you little demon? Eh? How did you figure that out? I've been trying really hard to keep it a secret. You must have been checking me out something fierce. This is creepy. Can we just stop this? No, Japan, no. You're not seriously asking me how I knew you were a demon, are you? Anyway, I wasn't... Whoa! Teddy bears! When will it give up? Anyway, he's the master of Mount Ashigara. If you get too close to him, he'll eat you. You better just play dead over there. Oh, won't you be my a teddy bear? I didn't read any of this. Child evades foes with her high mobility. Adult decimates foe with mighty blows. Demon available when the demon gauge is full. Okay, stop telling me how to play the game. The demon gauge is replenished by attacking foes and absorbing spirits. Start off as child or adult. The bear fucked me up! Fuck you, bear! How did that, his stupid leather Cheerio hurt me? By fulfilling certain conditions, such as consecutively landing specific attacks, you can trigger a devastating crushing blow from a standard attack move. Foul monster beast! OMG, my main! Shit, how'd you break my super duper combo?
He keeps like moving like half a pixel away and it hits me. game. That was not dodging. Demon form. Kitty. That's not a bird. It's a bear. No, you toxigekied that a may move. What? I'm a dolphin. Uh, and square circle to attack. I like how they tell me how to move. We're so cool now. You will also be invincible while in demon form. Neat. Okay. Uh, press left. While holding down circle to float around in a cloud of fire, the longer it's used, the faster the demon gauge will be depleted, the bigger the resulting explosion will be. I made a big explosion. Shkabumis. I mean, a, a pig! Okay, baby, you're back in. No, ah! Uh. You stupid harpsichord! aren't musical instruments says you don't doubt the musical instrumentalism of a bear uh, you're supposed to move when I tell you to move young lady cheated they cheated I'm 
I very much disagree with the grabbings. child form you can chain together multiple diving attacks raining pain and damage down on a foe's head how do i do that the game won't let me rain down pain fuck you you're stupid Stop throwing children, you mean bully? This bear not care. Same attack over and over for five minutes. It's my favorite. Bear punch of death. You see me fuck that bear up? I fucked that bear so hard. Nature, stupid Smokey. to put fire in the forest bear guys like fire in the forest bear guys like to eat forest fires forest bear ow oh, don't throw her she's precious throw the gecky Child murder attack!
Whoa! I didn't tell you to go that way! Smokey the beaver was a very happy beaver with a button nose and cotton clothes and he sometimes peed his pants. Smokey the beaver. Fuck game. It won't let me switch over. I'm fucked. I can't I can't attack. The game cheated. You guys saw it. The game cheated. This is cool. I like this. This is fun. She's she's got wild ass attacks. Remember, it's okay to have a crush on her because she's a demon. She's not actually a child, because Japan is creepy with pedophilia. Japan loves to sexualize children and then be like, but it's okay. She's actually 8 billion years old. It's okay to love children if they're 8,000 years old. What the fuck is wrong with Japan? <laughs> If video games have taught me anything, and this is completely untrue, that Japan is full of pervy people and pedophiles. <laughs> that's, that's what I've, having never been to Japan, video games have taught me that it's full of pervy people and pedophiles. I just can't seem to get that last attack to land. Am I wrong? Or am I right? I think I'm right. Oh. Don't forget me! I mean, the U.S. is full of pet perverts as well, I was about to say pedophiles. That's true, though, they are. Yeah. 
Oh man, I thought we were in the last phase. Holy crap. I didn't realize there was still like health bar to go. He just gave me a cute little toss, baby toss. Ah! Yep, you suck, bear. are going to be the death of me. At least that attack doesn't... I can't control what happens in that, on that bounce. really cool fight. I really like that fight. That fight was awesome. We got no healing, but we beat the shit out of that bear. Alright, now if this child gets a ride around on a giant bear, I'm gonna be super happy. Like, if that's now our transportation, and now we have bear pal, bear pal, bear familiar, bear is best friend. Aha! No matter how hard you try, I'll always win. If you keep bothering me, I'll cut you into pieces and make a stew out of you. She beat a bear that huge into a bloody pulp. She may be tiny, but it's obvious who the real monster here is. I don't even think not large will cut it if I got involved with the likes of her. I better sneak away before she notices me again. Yeah, go away from the child, pervert. You stupid bear, look what you did. You scared my husband to be. Hey, it's okay to pretend to be alive now. It's okay to pretend to be alive. Where'd you go? Boar is not husband. So as a child, we are searching for a husband. Makes sense. Here. Oh, so that's where you're hiding. There's no reason to be scared anymore. I took care of that bear. I'm Enin... Rajaki? What? How do I say that? Enin Rajaki? 
the youngest of the 108 sons and daughters of Lord Enma, ruler of hell. I promise to stay with you forever. Okay. While he's sleeping, we need to find his money and steal it. Uh, you're a princess in Lord Enma's court? That explains your sophisticated grace. <laughs> now that we're a couple, there shouldn't be any walls between us. I mean, we're going to be living in hell as husband and wife after all. So just call me Raja, okay? Can you go back to being an adult, <laughs> please? Being stuck in hell as the husband of Enma's daughter? This goes way beyond me just trying to hook up. What did I get myself into? I'd better try to lie my way out of this. Uh, us married, huh? Well, that sounds great. I already have a fiancé that was chosen for me by my parents when I was a child. It's my duty as their son to obey their wishes. Uh, I have absolutely no choice in the matter. I'm really quite devastated about it. It seems that fate is forcing me to give you up. It's best that you forget about me. I can try to get your parents to change their minds if you want. Uh, well, you see, my parents have uh, passed on. My betrothal was their last wish. Yeah, that's it. So there's nothing you can do, so please just try to forget about me. Well, why don't I just talk a Well, why don't I just talk it out with your fiancé instead? Where does she live? You're not going to let this go, are you? Well, it's not like her house is just down the road. It's on the other side of the mountains in Kufo. Kufu? Sorry. It's just not meant to be. Oh, that's not too far away. I can make it there in like a minute. All right, hubby. Just get into this bag here. Well, that was kind of funny. We just sucked them up into our Hoover vacuum cleaner for storage. That's how, that's how items work in video games. You have an infinite storage bag that sucks real hard and absorbs husbands. That's how I'll get my husband. Just suck him real good into a bag. Hell bent on taking Saikichi's fiance. I didn't read that. Saikichi? Uh, open stance. Ups damage dealt as well as damage received by 10%. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, child probably needs to hit harder. But also, adult needs to hit harder. So now we have two. Child smash, adult smash. Hellbent on talking Saikichi's fiance out of marrying him, Rajaki heads out to Kai province. Cobra Kai? Daniel LaRusso is his fiance. I knew it all along. It makes sense. I like Daniel LaRusso in his, uh, in his shower. Very cute shower. It's like a big ass baseball bat. And I beat him to death with my Louisville slugger. It's bath time. That was unexpected. This is all very unexpected. What the shit is this? Why are there so many naked people? Holy crap, talk about a divine feast. This must be heaven. What's with all the beautiful women here? Just ignore them and keep your eyes on me. This miraculous spring is popular with the gods. None of them are human, and if you insult them, they'll probably kill you. Why are we... Why is he covering his jumblies? Fear not. Covering jumblies is for idiots. Let your jumblies hang open. That's... Right? That's that's what guys do. They let their jumblies hang open. Let your jumblies waft in promiscuity. That's right. Waft away. 
Look, I can be pervy, video games can't. It's, it's a rule of thumb. Double standards, of course. Nice, another bamboo flask is absolutely great. I like the combat here, it's actually really cool. Very different. Controlling the head pounces with the kiddos pretty hard, but oh shit, I did not mean to do that. All right. That's my favorite part. Wasn't there, like, a Dragon Ball character that did something crazy? Like, when she got angry, she turned all evil? Like, she had, like, the good side and the bad side. Or am I crazy? Her name was Launch. When she sneezed, she got all, like, New York. Is that who I'm thinking of? There's gotta be somebody else. Booja Booja. Habba Dabba. Hambone Trickery. I will trick you into falling in love with me with ham bones. Everyone loves a ham bone. Thus love. Gotta love love. Ham bone. Ham bone. Like that. Do that more, kid. All right. This adorable little octopus is gonna murder everything for us. Wait, this isn't the right way? What? Wait, I thought. Oh, there was another path. Ew, I did not notice that. Ah, whatever. Tis be all good. We got experience. Easy game. We're literal babies. I like her sack. I want a sack like that. I'm jealous because of my lack of sack. Though, at least her sack isn't like that raccoon's testicles. <laughs> that raccoon used its sack like a, like a hammer. And that's not good. You shouldn't use your scrotum like a hammer. That can't be. It might be durable, but... Uh. I have giant testicles that are great for hammering. No. No, it's not, it's not what testicles are used for a raccoon. In case nobody saw it yesterday, uh, we fought a raccoon with huge testicles. And, and he was beating on my face with those huge testicles. It was, it was very inappropriate for our family-friendly stream here. Very inappropriate for the family friendly going on. I don't want to switch her out. 
Because if I hit the switch button, we'll turn into the demon lady, and I don't want to do that. I want to go back to the kid. There we go. Little kid's a little bit more mobile. We just need to, like, strengthen her up a bit. Just give her some... some punchables. <laughs> what, 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 what's going on here? Um, <clears throat> looks like there's room for you. This is Budai's bottomless bag. He can carry pretty much anything. I let you out because I thought you might be suffocating. We're almost there. Just hold on for a little longer, okay? Whoa! <laughs> Alright, this shit's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, no one's talking to you, old lady. Give me food. All right, we got 6,000. That's good. Or somewhere close to 6,000. Ah, he didn't have any donuts. That poop hole. That old poop hole. All right, nothing over there. Oh! is all fucked up now. Now we're <clears throat> the master blaster. The master of disaster. The dingleberry puncher. Alright, we need cooking. <clears throat> and we need all the bags of rice. I'll buy some bamboo flasks as well for now. <clears throat> Alright, let's cook up some uh, jelly donuts. You know, if jelly donuts were always this easy to make, we'd be living pretty in the city, right? Y'all got any jelly donuts? You yeah. hear? I miss eating seaweed wrap. I need to get some of that. That stuff is so good. I don't know what the hell it's called, but it's freaking delicious. I need some of it. Like, you could just eat... Like, seaweed. And it's fantastic. Freaking just so tasty. friend of mine she used to they're just little square packages and they were i'm assuming they probably had like horseradish or something similar that was like spicy on them that gave them like a little bit of flavor and holy crap did those things taste good <clears throat> uh, i don't know what's going on with them but man that stuff was delicious Just jam that shit in your mouth. And it's such a fun and fancy snack. You know? It's, I think it's somewhat healthy for you. It's seaweed, right? Seaweed's always good for you. Alright, we want to go up that way. Let's finish exploring this whole area first. See if there are any goodies that we can... 
make for ourselves. You're all dead now. <clears throat> Just get our demon here. I win. Well, that's cool. If you don't use all the power in one go, you get to, like, roll it over. I like that. That's good stuff. I like the horns. I want horns. I gotta just jump. I want I want horns. I am going to go somewhere and surgically have horns implanted in my head just like so I can screw them in. Right? That'd be cool. Screw in a bowl. Implantable horns. Every young boy's wildest fantasy. Attachable horns. And then people can be like, Hey, Serio, are you horny? And I can be like, I hate you. I hate you. That's such a bad joke lame come up with something better but inside i can be like that was hilarious but i won't tell anyone it'll be my own secret except for everyone here now you know but one day i will show up here with horns beautiful pointy horns Oh, are you shitting me? I can't buy the $6,000 gift. You suck, lady. Also, love you. Also, hashtag love you. Controller's acting crazy right now. Like, there's like this like serious delay. <clears throat> I'm hitting the jump button and then not jumping. It's weird. Yeah, there's something going on with this. I'm gonna just blame the uh, the Vita. It's the PSTV's fault. Clearly. I genuinely think there's something goofy going on with that. Whatever, whatever the signal it uses to communicate with uh, the controller, I think is, I think there's something going on there. a shop here there's also treasure somewhere treasure shit it's like everything oh no it's just that okay good Uh, the last time, hold on, it was doing this. Let's turn it off, then turn it back on and see if that makes things a little better.
If there's a singular enemy, it's almost impossible to bounce off of them. Like, continuously. That's hard. Especially if she goes the wrong direction. <laughs> Wasn't doing anything that I wanted it to do. That's unfortunate. Nice. That was all unintentional. And by unintentional, I mean I did it all on purpose. Doi. Doi. Everything I do is with intention. Doi. Hello, monkey. You little scoundrel. I'm naked, but I'll fart on you. He's naked. Why? Excuse me, but I'm naked here, you know. Aren't you being kind of sleazy right now? Don't be ridiculous. And anyway, you run around all the time in a skimpy apron, but for now, I want my loincloth back. Where is it? One of the monkeys here offered to wash it, so I gave it to him. called it a loincloth. I call it a diaper. You better not put any brown stains on your diaper. Don't stain your diaper. Hey kid, don't stain your diaper. Cloth diapers are reusable for the trash. <laughs> you pooped in it! I remember when I was a lifeguard, there was uh, this one pool I'd go to, it had a like, you know, your standard pool, and then it had like a little kid's pool, which was basically kind of just like a waiting pool. You know, the, the water wasn't super deep. It was like maybe, I don't even think it was a foot, but maybe, maybe like in the like middle area, it was like a foot. It wasn't very big either. You know, you could fit like maybe like 10 kids in there and then that'd be like, all right, that's, that's near capacity. But every once in a while, like some kid would just take a giant shit <laughs> <laughs> it was always so funny. Like, some parent would be like, Oh my! And then the kids, the kids wouldn't even give. Kids wouldn't care. The kids would just be like, <sighs> Be like, yo, that's a turd. And the kid would be like, no, I don't care. Like, they'd get upset they had to come out of the pool. And the parents were always like, okay, little Jimmy, time to come out of the pool. Some some child pooped, and they'd be like, I don't want to come out. You don't want to come out. And they're like, sorry, honey, it's dirty. The lifeguards need to clean it. And I was like, I'm not cleaning that shit. Fucking high. <laughs> you put your mouth in there. That's how you get... That's unsanitary. Ain't nobody going into that pool now. That pool is off limits and forbidden forever. From everyone. No one may participate in poolings now due to your dumb bastard child. The pool has now been condemned because of all of this grotesque fecal matter. I, just, I always just found it funny. Kids would just take turds in there and you couldn't you had that like if your kid was young enough they couldn't have like a regular diaper because there was something about like the standard like i don't know like plastic diapers so you had to have cloth diapers on your kid so you'd have a cloth diaper 
and then a a like bathing suit on. But kids brought in like parents brought in like little little kids, you know, so that they could just kind of like sit in there. But if there was if if you were using it, there always had to be like a parent watching the kid. You couldn't just have like mom dump kid in child's pool and walk away. I think it was like up to the age of five. I think it was the pool, but every once in a while, <laughs> it'd just it'd just be like, "Yup, that's a turd. That is that is a turd. That kid pooped in there." Basically, what had to happen is you you like you removed you removed the problem. And then, and then you had to like crank up like a ton of chlorine into there, and then, and then you had to like after like a half hour, I think it was supposed to be, then you had to like crank it back down with a pH, so you know wouldn't murder anyone. But every once in a while, some like adult would take a shit in the actual pool and it wasn't always like elderly people sometimes it was elderly people but a lot of the times it'd be like some kid took a shit in the pool and you're like what the hell man like seriously just get out of the pool for two minutes and go take a dump the pool is not a turlet <clears throat> Or kids would like pee in there too because they thought it'd be funny. Like, bet you won't pee in the pool, and then you gotta shut down the pool for like an hour and a half while you clean it. That stuff sucked. I wasn't getting in there. Like, if somebody peed in there, I'm not going in that shit. I don't give a fuck. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you know, yellow and blue make a green seal. Yucky. Yucky. It took us a long while until our pool ended up actually getting that, uh... I don't remember what it was called, but you put in, you know, some solution into the pool, and it turned, it turned whatever, like, the ammonia that's in urine. I believe that's what it did. Like, it, it, it's, it detected the urine, but you had to put in, like, a certain amount of it, and then it would, like, turn the water a different color. So even if, like, someone had, you know, like clear pee because they were staying hydrated smart people right there it would still turn the water a different color people are gross but this was all stemmed by Japanese people wearing cloth diapers as adults makes sense when you think about it makes a whole heap a lot of sense whole heaping of sense uh after that after that uh like astronaut lady went all like nuts and uh stalked that dude but it turned out like she was like cross-country traveling and uh she wore she wore like nasa diapers on her on her trip my buddy was like dude that was genius so she never had to stop she just had to she just went and i was like that's right but also she sat in like pee and fecal matter for like hours on end I know I didn't fix whatever the controller issue is, and still. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. My buddy was like, dude, I'm totally doing that from now on. Like, I'm totally buying, like, the pens for any road trips in the future. It's, it sounds like an awful decision. An awful decision. Funny, but awful. 
Oh, sexy bear time. Hey, isn't that the bear from Mount Ashigara? Why are you sitting on it? It came after me and just kind of ended up here to heal its wounds. It's fun bathing in a hot spring with others, so it's all good. Don't worry, he promised not to go crazy. That bear is now our lover. We will marry the bear. The bear has seen us naked, thus the bear ritual of marriage has been uh, conducted. We will now marry bear. We have bear wife. Some people might say that it's lovely to marry a bear, but I say sometimes it's unbearable. You're welcome, everyone. You're welcome. Stupid pigeon! Alright, we're just changing. I don't I don't feel like worrying about fighting that the, Oh my god, I'm not Yeah, there's got to be it's got to be some it's 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 worse than what it, it wasn't doing this before. Like now it's like or maybe I just never noticed it. Now it's moving me. I'll, I'll look into the router and see if I can change. Uh, maybe a neighbor did. Maybe it's not even ours. That's the worst part is that, you know, if a neighbor, like, changed, you know, whatever, like, their Wi-Fi is on. That could also interfere, and I can't do anything about that. I'll try to figure something out when we're done streaming here. That's not good. What? I thought that's where I was going. Where are we going? Oh. Whoops. Maybe I meant to go south. It's alright. We got, we got treasures and stuff on our trip here. All right, let's just call the demon out because these guys suck. Did I get him? Perfect. Perfect. The jumping noises are a little excessive. Maybe, maybe a little excessive. That was just to heal. It's fine. It's fine. Dude, did the shuriken go over her head? That's great. That was hilarious. Yata indeed. Oh good. We get to do the fight that I just did again. 
because it wasn't fun enough the first time. The game was like, hey, guess what? Prize! I'm guessing, uh, me crashing to the ground. There were bombs down there. I was blocking. I was literally holding down the square button. Thank goodness, man. I, I don't mind the regular ninjas. The kites just suck. Yeah, the little kid's not bad. She's she's a whole lot more mobile than uh, the adult. And the adult kind of, like, gets locked in place when she's attacking. The kid can actually kind of, like, move back and forth when she's hitting things. I like the kid better. All right, except when I'm getting my ass kicked. Adult time! All right, less getting ass kicked. Ohio Gazanamas. Oh. Every time. Every time I miss it. There is not a single time that I don't miss that. Every time. Every time single time. I never grab it. You always need like eight tries to get that. Right through. Alright, perfect. What else we got here? That was great. I love when I hit buttons and nothing happens and then I die. I think when we become the demon, we can't switch back out either. Where's the, uh, where's the prize? Where's the cookie? Where's the creamy filling? Oh, right here. I want my creamy filling! O-R-E-O, -E it tastes bad! The other day I was in the grocery store and I, I bought some Oreos. I usually don't have, like, cookies and stuff in the house, but I was feeling some cookie action. And, uh, I didn't realize there's, like, nine billion kinds of Oreos. Like, what the shit? Like, where did all that come from? You know, to be honest, I just wanted chocolate. I really don't like the cream filling. I don't, I'm not a big fan of just eating fat. Like, lard. I'm pretty sure the cream filling... You know what, I... You know what's interesting? So, the, the filling in Oreos is called cream, C-R-E-M-E. -E. Uh, the FDA said they can't call it cream, C-R-E-A-M, if it doesn't have any actual dairy products in it. 
Uh, I don't I don't know if uh, the filling is still animal lard, but it used to just be fat. Just like whipped flavored fat. I don't know if that's still the case with Oreo filling, but it used to be. Uh, where is... There it is. I couldn't see it. I think it's. it might just be oil now. Oil and flavoring at this point. Like, flavoring. Uh, sugar. Like, uh, what is it? Corn syrup. It's weird, it's hard to, like, jump when I'm hitting the jump button, and then, like, a second later I'm jumping. <laughs> it's really hard to gauge this. Maybe some of the other... What is on? What consoles are on? Maybe I could turn off my PS4. That might be on. Maybe those are, like, interfering. I mean, it's... I think it's fully turned off. I don't... I never... I never leave the consoles in rest mode. Like, my Switch is turned off. My PS4 should be fully turned off. Maybe not. And there's nothing else plugged in. I don't... None of them should have Wi-Fi, either. They should all just be... Mm. I'm just trying to think of, like, what could be causing interference. No, the Xbox One is turned off. My PS3 is turned off. My PS4 is turned off. My Switch is turned off. Holy crap. It's just so weird. Like, I'll stop holding forward, and she'll just keep walking for, you know, a second. <laughs> Definitely makes playing difficult. This isn't the first time I've experienced this, but it's been a really long time. Like, I felt like I fixed this last year. Oh, I see you, Mr. the Glowy. I'm probably gonna die somewhere if I don't get a level up. Maybe that's why it takes forever when I hit triangle for anything to happen. I wonder what it says on her, uh... I don't know, bikini? I don't know what you'd call it. He called it an apron, but it doesn't really look like an apron. I wonder what it says. Does it say, badass mama gonna kick your teeth in? That's what I'm gonna hope that it says. Testicle stomper. Kind of worthless, but sure. Kitsune belt. Hmm. Doesn't happen often. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. Yeah, not surprised that something killed me from up there. I, I couldn't see anything. I had no idea that there was an enemy up there. 
really dislike the trees in here. I mean, they just block you from seeing stuff. It's frustrating. I like how this guy is like, hey man, I want to play too, guys. Hey, right, you can have some. Batter up. Not a fan how they just jump out of my attack, though. But that was an ass whooping game. That was an ass whooping. Game is embarrassed. Not to give me more experience than I deserved for that. Very thorough thrashing that it's received. From my twirly burly. <clears throat> The, the attack reminds me a lot of uh, the ninja kid and his sickle, where he twirls it around, but that one had some really good range. This one, not so much. With your spiked bat, I'm gonna call my bat Debra. Debbie likes to kick ass. Oh, hello. Boy, that's tough. Who knew that jumping off branches would be so difficult? I gotta hit the jump button so early now. <gasps> Just jump! Oh my god. Holy crap. So much stuff. <laughs> Dude, this is the land of gimme, gimme, gimme. Hell yeah. Open over there. Maybe something around here. No? Alright. Whatever, man. Be like that. Be stingy, game. It's not like I wanted thing anyways. Gross. <laughs> I didn't even get to react. I can roll things too, sir. Man, those guys are still annoying. The fact that enemies can, like, kind of, like, tank through an attack and then do whatever the hell they want. Like, all right, well, we're just going to use our uh, smoke bomb to get out of your way here. So close. 
a little frustrating. All right, we here? Yay! Yay for us. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Bam, 3,000. Living the high life. Sure, we'll raise that one. Get a little more attack there. Uh, demon form adds an explosive effect to Inferno. I thought this was adult. Oh. I don't want to work on that. I don't want to make mistakes. Uh... Child form, mash down and square to do a low level spinning attack. Mash down in square? That seems impossible. I can't do that. Your fingers don't work that way. Spirit drained while blocking 20%. I like that. We'll buy both the cheap ones here. What do we got? Attack for adult. Attack for adult. Don't form mash square in midair to hit a foe from multiple sides. I do that all the time. 1% of my health back. I'll take it. Uh, We might be able to get both of these. Barely, but it's good. Any skill down here? Adult form. Alicia Bullet. Storm by holding down during a secret art? Ups attack power by 10% when fullness gauge is active. It seems kind of stupid, but... Is that neutral? Yeah, fine. Not neutral, uh... Passive. Sorry, passive. That's the word I was looking for there was passive. Is it passive? Level 9. That seems to be the level that we usually are when we fight bosses. Uh... Ice ball. Ow, 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 what a horrible thing to... Wait, where am I? Does it say, like, no demon children here? Is that what that sign says? Stop, demon child! We're in Kushu, as Koshu, as promised. Anyway, look at this. That's supposed to be me or something. It's a drawing of a suspected criminal. You're right. It is supposed to be you. When did you become a wanted criminal? What did you do? I wonder if it has anything to do with the time I beat the snot out of some evil lord because he wouldn't hand over Lord Daikoko's mallet to me. Daikoku. Daikoku. What in the hell? I mean, what have I gotten myself into now? They'll throw me in jail too if they think I'm with her. I've gotta do something about this right now. Uh, anyway, we're in Koshu, right? Uh, yep, I can see my fiancé's house from here. I'll go ahead and say hi first, so why don't you just wait here until I call for you? You don't want to scare her by showing up at her door out of the blue, do you? Don't worry, I'll come for you right away. Part of being a good wife is listening to your husband. Got it! I want to be the bestest wife ever, so I'll wait for you here, just like you asked. Which form is her real form, the child or the adult, or the demon? Which is like, natural form. But be sure to hurry back so you can introduce her, introduce me to her. Perfect. Now for me to get to the, perfect. Now for me to get the, I mean, it's time for me to go, but I have to play it off all natural like so she doesn't get suspicious. Uh, hello. Whoa, take a look at this one. Those hips and eyes that a man can lose himself in. And being by the river just accentuates her beauty. I bet she's a widow or something. 
Hold on a second. I thought of a way to kill two birds with one stone. I might be able to drive that demon brat away and hook up with this woman. Not a chance, dude. Not a chance. So you see, I'm being followed around by some strange little girl. For some reason, she thinks I'm going to become her husband. Oh, that sounds quite troublesome. She's evil, isn't she? She's a demon herself. Oye. If I had a girlfriend, I'm sure the kid wouldn't have even bothered with me, but sadly I don't have anyone in my life, as I'll be entering the priesthood soon. So, I, if it's not too much trouble, could you pretend to be my fiancé for a while? Just long enough to get that little brat out of my hair, of course. Oh, really? I would like nothing more than to be able to pay you back for escorting me home. If you think I can be of any help, then of course. Hey, I think she likes me. I bet it was the pious monk that, that did it. I'm good with playing the part of the innocent acolyte who succumbs to a single night of passion. Dude is so creepy. We can see your boner through your through your blouse. This person here's your fiance? Are you sure about that? See? What did I tell you? This beautiful woman and I are to become husband and wife. No matter how you look at it, you're no match for her. Why don't you just give up now? Humans really are clueless when it comes to getting married, I see. That thing right there is a mountain witch. Hubby, she'll eat your head here and have your toes for dessert. What? And she got cuter. Damn it all. I thought I was going to be having some fresh young girl for dinner. And here she turns out to be a demon child. Now scram. I'm not sharing this tasty looking human with you. I've been craving human flesh for a long time now. I'm sick and tired of fish. Fish does get boring. Even if it was his parents' last wish, I doubt they really wanted their son to be eaten by a mountain witch. You might be his fiance, but I think it's time I'll teach you a lesson. Let's hug her with axes. Let's ax her a question. By unlocking Hellspinner, you can now unleash a low-level spinning attack by mashing down. Oh, she gets dizzy afterwards. Makes sense. She's got a big ass head. Oh my god! I mean, it was, it was just a matter of time before she walloped me good. It said we got stronger if I did this, right? Uh, 
Punchy, punchy, punchy! Grand, grand! Stabbing the kid. boss very different i dig it i dig it very different than it was that was easy i like the fact that she had a huge head and we could just constantly smash it i didn't think she'd be able to do so much damage ha 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 all of that effort wasted i'm no ordinary demon i might look like it i might not look like it but i'm the youngest daughter of the ruler of hell and in Rajaki, don't you forget it. Wait a minute. You mean a brat like you is... I mean, you're a daughter of Lord Enma? All the horrible things you've done, eating humans and whatnot, my father knows all about it. Repent, or you'll suffer in hell for eternity. Huh? What if I give this human back to you? It looks like everything between you and your former fiancé has been settled. You and I are officially married. Oh... Sure, that's great. Ah, that fishing pole you have there. Seeing it up close like this, it's obviously Lord Ebisu's fishing pole. You managed to find one of the treasures for me. You're really off to a great start, husband of mine. What is that supposed to mean? To tell you the truth, I've been searching far and wide for the treasures of the seven gods of fortune. I kind of, sort of, well, lost them all in the human world. So, we're going to hang out and find treasure? That sounds great. Lord Ebisu's fishing pole, Lord Deikoku's lucky mallet, and Lord Budai's bag. I now have found three out of seven. 
There's only four more to go. Jirojin's Gourd, and then there's Bisha Mountain's... Hold up a sec. You stole the treasures belonging to the seven gods of fortune, and then lost them. Now your father, Lord Enma, is pissed at you, so you can't go home, right? It, it's not like I tried to lose everything. I just laid them all out on a cloud to show off to Raijin while the seven gods were talking with my dad. Don't worry about it, though. I'll still be able to live happily ever after in hell. I won't rest until i found all seven treasures. My dad will have to forgive me then. See, look at it. This kid's great. All responsible. Hey, you stupid witch! You used Lord Ebisu's fishing pole without permission, didn't you? I'll let it go this time, but I'll be taking the pole with me. It was only because... It's only... It was only because it was Ebisu's pole that I was able to catch fish just by dropping a line into this muddy puddle, huh? It's a shame to give it up. A damn shame. Whatever, use your magic, witch lady. Cast the spell of fishing and win. What the? I mean, you're bleeding. Let me take a look at that. Where's she bleeding? Punch her again. It's nothing that a good licking won't heal, but you're so sweet. I'm so lucky to have a husband like you. Don't be ridiculous. I'd be arrested in an instant if someone saw me with a blood-covered child. Wow, you're really good at tying up bandages. I wanted to become a doctor when I was a kid. It's really the only thing I'm good at. But being the third son in a family that was barely able to eat regularly, there was no way I'd be able to afford to learn medicine. Don't worry, my dear husband. I'm here for you. Although now that I think about it, the whole reason I learned how to apply bandages was so I could play doctor with all the girls in my area. And once I'm able to go back to hell, we can live happily ever after there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happily ever after. Get off me, kid. Go get me a burger or something. Ah! I didn't think I'd ever move to hell, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to air out my soul by hanging it out in the sun on a pine tree somewhere. Ah! That sounds like a disaster. Why didn't you say anything earlier? Where did you leave your precious soul hanging anyway? It should be hanging from the only pine tree growing in Izu Pass. I hope the wind hasn't blown it away. Maybe you could go grab it for me while I wait here? Yeah, I could go get it for you fast enough, but a husband and wife should always stay together. So why don't you just jump in here again while I hurry over there? Damn it! I mean, he is a piece of shit, so he kind of deserves to be treated like a piece of shit, right? Uh, so we have to go all the way back around, huh? I wonder how much stuff we got for beating the boss. Like, how many goodies have we acquired? It's said to attack enemies from all sides, and I don't feel like we're attacking enemies from all sides with that. Whoops. Ups damage dealt as well as damage received by 10%. Yeah, alright, fine, whatever. I don't give a shit. Decrease spirit drained while blocking. 1%. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I did not mean to use Ballo Riso. I guess maybe, uh, I think we bought enough rice to... No. I don't have any backup rice, do I? That kind of sucks. Uh, cooking... Oh, we do! Well, if I wasn't an idiot and hit the down button like a moron, then we'd have a bunch of, uh... Bunch of extra rice on our hand. Ow, I fell on my ass! Damn it! 
Are you alright, hubby? Why don't you show me your butt? I'll massage it for you. You've gotta be kidding me. I fell because you keep spinning around that bag while I'm inside it. It's not some kind of package, you know. Got it. Try not to swing it around so much. You're missing the point! I do enjoy how she's abusing him. Alright, that's supposed to be funny. I'm laughing on the inside. This is how you laugh on the inside, right? I mean, I'm already dying really quick. If an enemy does 10% more damage, I mean... Whatever, right? Like, if they're doing, like, 100 damage to me, it's just 10 extra HP. So, that could never kill me. Right? Right, right? Right. Serial knows how to map. Alright, I mean, we're on our way to, I mean, maybe, fingers crossed, uh, we stumble across another merchant. We can buy some more rice. Same thing. Bye-bye! You know, he could be a kid, too, right? He's looking to score, but he could be, like, 15. Dude, I'm totally gonna score with all these babes this summer. It's summer camp, man. Babes at summer camp equal mom. Gross cereal. Gross. I know. I totally smooched with this righteous baby. That's not too bad. I don't like how it was false advertising, though. Like, attack enemies from all sides, it is not. Maybe I misread what the, uh, the skills said. I'm pretty sure it said attack enemies from all sides. That's definitely just one side. We were in Kai, we're going to Izu. Yep, hurry to Izu province to look for Saikichi's soul, which he hung from the pine tree on a lonely mountain path. I mean, if we're lucky, you know, this one might be super quick. And we can get through this, you know, in like an hour. And then yay for us, right? Yays for plays. And then we never have to play Muramasa again until tonight, where we get all the true endings for the DLCs. We would have really do that, maybe. I mean, I want to get all the endings, but at the same time, I don't want to grind out the entirety of the game again. Oh, uh, but Campfire Chow. Let's see what he sells us. What is that? Boiled radish. Roasted yams, though. All right, I can buy sweet potatoes then.
and we're poor. But this one actually gives us uh, something decent. Sucks that I wanted to get some more uh, spirit as well, but I think the healing's more important at this point. I also don't have uh, 600 HP yet. So that'll be a full heal. That's nice. That's real nice. Monkey song. And oh, yeah. Let's see if we got something new here. Okay, nope. The monkey's washing my diaper. It's a very helpful monkey. I wish I had a monkey that washed my diapers. How do I get how do I get a monkey and then also teach it to wash clothes? Also, monkeys are vicious creatures that can rip a human's arm off if it wants to. Like, monkeys kill things for, for funsies and torture stuff. Monkeys are fucked up. They're really violent. I've, I've seen enough nature... nature nature documentaries nature documentaries to know that that monkeys are just as evil as people they'll like steal babies from parents and then murder them just because like that's fucked up I think this song here is one of my favorites in the game. I like that jazzy song earlier though too. One of the uh, one of the ones that was in uh, Free the Ninja DLC we just beat. I like that too. I'm on level 12. Oh, nice. It's just easy enemy. And three dollars. I want my two dollars. Once you start winding up at any point, if you stop mashing, she just does a big uh, smash attack, which I like. Maybe that's not gonna... I was trying to learn something there, game. I wanted to fight the samurai again. I wanted to know what I needed to do to break their weapon. That sucks. I've broken their weapons before, and I thought it was just by doing that, so... No, we don't fight samurai that often.
Oh, hey, Mr. Blobby Toe. That's what my big toe looks like after I stub it. Splooching all over the place. Yeah, the game just goes back, uh, the controller goes back and forth from, like, being extremely responsive to just not responding at all to anything. It's very confusing. Right now, I don't have any problems. It's great. I want it to maintain this. Please continue to be non-problematic. Like, always be like this controller. Now and forever. That's how we'll be. We can just combine two songs together there. around here so I'm just gonna look around and try to grab whatever goodies we got and then move on splendid hey hell yeah recovery power eh, whatever I don't think we're ever going to need that, but... I want to go back to the kid pool. I want to try the... Uh, I wanted to try the spinny back and forth thing on those guys. Let's go back to kid. Oh, but he's definitely not against these guys. Yep, that's about right. Yeah, not surprised. I think there's just three in here. Nice. Some, getting some nice experience. If we run across another merchant, maybe we can buy some uh, more rice or sweet potatoes. I think there might be one in Isa. Well, I don't know. The DLC could not have a merchant in here, so... I'll take that. Oh, yeah, game. Sweet potato foamy knapsack. Oh, shit, really? Nice. I didn't think I hit him. Stupid off-screen enemies. That's still my biggest pet peeve in this game. Actually, I don't know what my biggest... I, I have a lot of complaints about this game, but... Certainly, the, the enemies going off-screen just sucks. I mean, bosses in big arenas is one thing, but you can, you can move to where the boss is. Oh, I'll fuck that pigeon up. Twice. That's one dead pigeon. It's, it's just infuriating that enemies, okay, we'll walk off screen. And sometimes they... We, 
there, there were like these demons and they I had once where it spent a good 10 seconds off the screen and it's like okay well now I just get to sit and wait for it to come back maybe just I don't remember what it was but there was a game that I played not so long ago and maybe it was my brain is always a little fuzzy uh, but it's set up like you get into a fight and it would set up uh, like barriers on either side of you. So you, you just have like for, for, you know, better or worse, like an invisible wall on either side. I mean, you could see them. They were like red or blue or whatever, but it but it forced the end. It forced you to stay within the arena, which we're kind of already doing because the screen is locked. Be nice if the enemies were forced to abide by that as well. When the, when the screen can scroll, I'm perfectly fine with it. They can still go off screen, though, sometimes. I wish we were all just trapped in the arena together as one big happy family of death. Damn, it's right here. I'm going to keep looking around real quick. We'll clear out this area. And then we'll, uh... And we'll go do the thing. Is this the same thing? Apparently there's just a couple of them. Is there really no fight there? Sure, giant demon lady for the win. Is this the last frog? Yuppers. Sweet. Wow. Please stop. Just jump. I can't stand the fact that the jump button activates stuff. Like, it's so annoying. I'm just trying to jump, game. I'm, I'm just trying to jump. The fact that the X buttons also confirm, the square buttons confirm, the circle button, the drop, like all of them do the same thing. Alright, maybe not the circle button. The circle button's the back button, but it doesn't do anything. I could technically reassign it, but that's not going to help me. I mean, it'll still be a confirm button. Being able to reassign the dodge from duck is the best thing that I've done. It makes dodging and maneuvering just so much easier. It's so good. I got it on my left trigger and it just, it's enhanced. What enhance? Just makes combat so much better. Enhance. And so I think there was like one other path that we could go down. Hello. 
Non My healing, fuck you, gang. I should have healed. <laughs> uh, I was taking a lot of damage there while spinning around. That sucks. from all the flops. And the kid there is, that's kind of rough. Like, the ground spinning is pretty cool, but it's not if I'm still going to be able to get bopped and stuff by the enemies, it makes it kind of hard to use. Sure, why wouldn't there be a bomb there? Why wouldn't there? It needed a bomb, to be honest. I was thinking, you know what? It's a perfect spot for a bomb. And then there was a bomb, and so it made me happy. It's my happy smiles. <laughs> what? All right, can't wait for a bomb to be right there. No bomb. Ro there it is. There's the bomb I wanted. We found it. Oh, happy day. All right, dungeon time. Okay, this first. That went horribly, as it should. Door. Sure, why not? We won. B -b 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 bomb. What's up, Otis? How you doing, homie? Happy Tuesday. I meant to text you. Thanks for texting me about the Black Star thing. I knew I knew that they had been... Dude, they've been talking, like, Talib Kweli and Mostef have been talking, like, for a long time about, like, them doing, you know, a, a new album. And it's, like, been in the works for, like, 15 years. Like, they've been teasing it for and nothing. Just, it's like, okay, they talk about it for a little while. Like, someone mentions it, and they're like, yeah, man, we're hard at work in the studio. And then nothing ever comes, and they're like, yeah, we were lying. <laughs> so, I mean, the fact that they at least have a single out makes me go, okay, maybe they're doing something. Just here at the box factory. You making boxes now, Joe? I'm jealous. But I'm definitely hyped for more Black Star, for sure. Yeah, their first album is great, man. Their first album. I mean, it's a classic. It is a classic. I meant to text you. <laughs> like, I, I got... I got it, like, I saw it, and I was like, Oh, man, I'm gonna text Joe back, thanks. And then I looked up at the clock, and I was like... Oh, it's like six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know sometimes you're up, but it was a Sunday. <laughs> oh, but that's a bit early to be texting. Yeah, I don't know, man. I it's it's it seems like way too early to be texting people. I know you are. One of them early birds, them crazy people that are up super early. 
phone is on silent anyways. Does it vibrate? We would have read it when we woke up. Yeah, fair enough. Feature broke a few years ago. Really? That sucks. <laughs> you need a new phone and don't want to buy one. I mean, it wasn't until, like, last year that I got a new phone. I had my iPhone 5 for... I don't know how long. Long enough, right? That thing... That thing put in good work. You got an iPhone 8. I think mine's an 11 now? I wish I wasn't so ingrained into Apple. Kinda sucks. Then again, I'm not a big fan of Android either, so... You have to charge your phone three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't good. You can still get you can get a a battery replacement though. That that may help alleviate the problem. Have you ever replaced the battery in there? You can take it to I mean I know uh College Park has at least like one phone repair shop. You wait till the new ones come out this fall and grab a newish cheap one. It ain't worth it at this point. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I, I think I got, so I got like whatever the 11S is, so you know, it's like the smaller iPhone. Which I like that, because all the other iPhones are fucking huge. Your phone is fucking huge. Your 8 is way bigger than... <laughs> Why do they keep I you remember remember when everybody when everybody was like hey smaller's better in in cell phones and then all of a sudden we were like wait hold on we meant bigger we meant we meant bigger you want to carry around you want to carry around a tablet in your pocket right you all want to carry around tablets and then everyone was like yeah man tablets we love tablets. Bigger. I can't see the tiny screen. Like, I miss the days of smaller phones. The bigger ones have fancy processors and more batteries. Get 16 batteries in your iPhone. Hey, oh, we didn't die. Hell yeah. Is the battery actually, the, the battery life better on the bigger ones as well? That would suck too. New special feature, better battery life. You know you could do the same thing in the smaller ones too, right? And phones are such scams. The biggest scam in the world. You gotta have one, but holy crap, are they scammy. I mean, I don't... You know what I'm happy with? The one thing that I enjoy is the fact that they have that thing that, like, mutes unknown numbers. So it'll just go straight to voicemail the greatest thing I've seen happen in a phone in a long time. I was just like, oh, this is a thing? I was just looking through, like, the phone features the other day and saw that, and I was like, why haven't I had this? Why is this not, like, factory? Like, normal. This should just be, like, the way the phone is set up. Oh my god! And my phone goes off so many times. 
Like, it got better for a while, and then it got worse again. It was like, oh, everything's fine. They stopped doing the robot. No. No. It was fine for a little while. And then everything started up again. There's that nifty feature that, uh, mutes unknown numbers. And I was like, this is great. This is all that I want. All the time. I want my phone to be quiet. And then I'm happy. Quiet phone is best phone. Okay. Giant punching lady it is. Wu-Tang forever! Oh, her weapon broke. Didn't notice that. Oh my god. Yeah, whatever. I died once. Whatever. Game, game is easy. Oh, this is where they want me to go? Oh, shit. Well, whatever. Please jump up. No, you don't want to jump. Hey, there we go. Well, that is a lot of shit over there. Let us get shit. Eat shit and die. I dig it. Yeah, there was something back this way. I bet you it's just an accessory, but I want to go back and check it out. It's probably garbage. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. Nope, we're not gonna die. Genius! Ugh. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, it's what I get for trying to run from everything. Easy game. Forbid no, 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 no. Let them chew on their bones. Love it when I kick everyone's ass. Yeah, it was just an accessory. It's what I thought, so pointless. Whatever. Alright, so we just need to make our way on over to the. We're in the dungeon, right? Am I? We go in the dungeon? <laughs> what? This is totally the dungeon, right? Absolutely, it can't be anything other. Uh... Thanks for poisoning me, pigeon. Did I go through it? <laughs> after, after the bullshit of the last... 
of the last DLC. My brain is broke. My brain is very broke right now. One, two, three. Broken for me. Oh man, uh, yesterday I was perusing the internet and I saw the uh, full Rick James interview from the Chappelle show. And the first thing that I noticed, man, the Chappelle show kind of did Rick James dirt dirty is what I noticed. I was like, this is kind of fucked up. They make they make him look like a drug-addled old man. And I was like, wow, this is like really different. But, I mean, it was still hilarious. It was like a 20-minute interview. It was it was entertaining as hell. But I was like, holy shit, the Chappelle show made him look <laughs> look like a fucked up old man. I was like, they kind of did him dirty. I mean, I get that it was all for laughs and stuff, so they like chopped up some like goofy quotes and stuff, but I was like, damn. It's kind of messed up, man. If if somebody did that to me, I mean, I get it's all for laughs and stuff, but shit, man. You no, know, if I if I were Rick James, I'd be a little be a little salty. Holy shit! I mean, granted, Rick James is also uh, dead now, so. Yep, let's just get the fuck out of here. Screw the. Oh, wait, there's something here, though? Where? Oh, I see you. I was just shocked. Like I thought, I thought he was being like a complete goofball, and they just kind of like chopped up the video. They, you know, they misquoted him, right? You know, taking things out of context. They can be used as absolutely hilarious, but I was, I was just surprised at how so much of his stuff was, like, taken out of context. Just for the sake of, you know, being fun. And it sure as hell was funny. It was great, but, like, some of his stories were, like, slightly different. And there were actually some stuff that they obviously didn't use in, like, the final edit of the show. It's worth checking out, especially if you enjoyed the Chappelle show and the Charlie Murphy and Rick James stuff. It was good stuff. I felt that it was quite amusing and funny. <laughs> Rick James was a funny dude. You got to imagine, like, what are they like those Hollywoodites? I don't know a better terminology for it. You know, just like the amount of like crazy shit that they get into because I mean, like. What responsibility do you have outside of, like, performing and making music? Lots of, lots of money, lots of free time. Be able to get into a lot of bullshit. Like, picking musicians' minds like Rick James and stuff and being like, man. Like, what kind of crazy-ass stories do you guys have to tell? Like, what, what was that, like, the inside story, like, VH1 and stuff like that? I just want to sit down and, like, listen to musicians talk about stuff. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh, after after watching uh, the uh, the Rami Malek Queen Freddie Mercury thing, I I was just like, all right, I'm intrigued now. Let's see how many of these stories were actually true that you know transpired in the movie. And so I went and watched like a six-hour documentary <laughs> on Queen, and you know they they touch on a lot of the stuff that goes in there on there, but like. Things were, you know, obviously Hollywood eyes, fictionalized, twisted slightly. To be just like ever so slightly different than what like actually happened. It's just interesting to see those things. 
So, you know, the people, the producers, the creators, the writers, the directors all kind of like watched and learned a ton about Queen and then like adapted things for the screen. But some stuff is like vastly different. All right, we need to go here. What do we got? Child form land multiple diving attacks to unleash a mighty blow. Hell yeah. And that's passive? Yes, perfect. I really like child form. Damn. Damn. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I completely... Damage done by secret arts. We can equip that if I want. Let's uh, let's go over here. Do some good damage. Rebounding fireballs by holding up during a secret art. That stuff's really good. Uh... Make adult form a little more powerful. How did he get out of the bag? And then that little demon girl shoved me into that tiny bag again. And during the trip back from Khufu, she kept swinging the damn thing around with me inside. <laughs> You're quite amusing. So that's why you came running to this place to escape her unwanted attention. Deyu, the courtesan. Seriously. I know it sounds hard to believe, but it's the honest truth. Anyway, I never would have guessed that there'd be a place like this out in the mountains. And on top of that, the top-ranking courtesan let me go all the way with her my first time here. What gives? How cruel forcing me to say such things out loud. I have to confess that I've fallen hopelessly in love with you. I promise to devote myself to you both in life and in death. She's another demon, isn't she? With that said, as the most popular courtesan here, staying only with me will destroy your relationships with your regular customers. So you can go now. Teehee-hee. I take it you're trying to be understanding in order to save face. Very well. I will accept your kind offer and go make my rounds, if you'll excuse me. No worries, go do whatever you need to. It's not like I'm some jealous asshole who'd keep you from doing your job. I'll just relax here and have a few drinks. Ah, she took off already. I can't believe how infatuated she is with me. Talk about being a lady killer. I suppose there's worse things than being kept by a beautiful woman. Huh? What's with all this stuff on me? I can't move. Aw, dude. You're supposed to keep the sticky stuff in. That's what your sock is for. <laughs> Hubby, you have to run now. I must be hearing things. I swear I just heard that kid's voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the... How did I miss the big-ass spider web? Didn't we already fight a big-ass spider? Why are we fighting another big-ass spider? Oh, we got out. We're amazing. Is that you, Raja? Are you all right? I searched every pine tree on the mountain, but I couldn't find your soul. I guess the wind had already blown it away. Sorry about that. I don't believe this. You actually thought I was telling you the truth about my soul and went back to look for it? She is a kid, man. She is a kid. Quit taking advantage of children. Hey, Deyu, what's going on here? You were merely bait to be used to attract the bearer of the treasures of the gods of fortune. Now that the demon child is immobilized, you are no longer needed. <laughs> As the old saying goes, the moon will sooner become square before a courtesan tells her customers the truth. After our time of passion, you should have more than enough pleasant memories to take with you into the afterlife. Part of a courtesan's job is to lie. Don't take it personally. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick. I will be right back, and then we'll uh, fight this boss coming up here. Give me two seconds.
bloops. Bloops and doops. All right, proceed. Let's do it. You don't seem to have a clue as to what Rajaki is capable of. As a daughter of Lord Enma, she's super strong. Your web is useless against her. Chortle. That is why I took the liberty of infusing my web with poison. With the toxins flooding her body, she should stop breathing soon. They're all spider demons! Sexy spider demons! Whoa, what's with the monstrous form of yours? Oh, and what do you have there? Do I spy the peach of the immortal hermit Fuku Ro Kuju? Truly, it must be one of the treasures of the gods of fortune. You mean this peach I've been carrying around all this time? Color me surprised, but what's mine is mine. Still acting tough, even though you're on the verge of death. Our affair was temporary and fated to end tonight. I think I will kill you first to commemorate our moment of lust. Nice. Raja, open your mouth. Legend has it that this peach will cure any sickness. It should work on the spider's poison, too. It's all good, dude. I ramble. Oh, ninja baby. Warrior baby. Whatever. She hit me with the goops. One, two, goop a doo. <laughs> Gotta talk for 20 minutes. Still the same, not surprised. He didn't get deported. <laughs> Was it? Wasn't he worried about being deported? I live in Canada now, man. It's great. Next time I die, we'll uh we'll re-equip or equip, I guess not necessarily re, but equip the uh Yeah, alright. But that was was that intentional? Are they supposed to do that? Sounds kind of messed up. I, uh, you, you don't need this, do you? Work visa, schmirk visa.
Or, you know, we could actually hit the stupid spider David! My yams! Hams for yams! Alright, punch! It's punching time! Had full health. Bullshit. <laughs> Dude, I'm so dead. Okay, we're alive. Easy baby game. Oh, spider titties. Where'd she go? We're so zoomed in, I can't see anything. Was it always this zoomed in? Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Woo! Easy fight. Easy fight for babies. Easy fight for babies. Ugh. I thought this place was a mansion, but it's just the spider's web out in the mountains. If you didn't come rescue me, I'd just be another corpse hung up in it. Hey, what's wrong? Are you still hurt some? Emotionally. I just ate Fuku... Fukuro Kuju's peach. Now I won't be able to bring back all seven treasures. My dad's never going to forgive me now. I don't have a place to live anymore. Hey there now. You keep saying you love me and all, but it sounds like you think I'm good for nothing. You shouldn't underestimate me like that. Keeping you fed shouldn't be a problem. So I can stay with you? Weren't you trying to get away from me because you didn't like me? Yes. Don't be stupid. And anyway, if I left you alone, you'd just continue to cause trouble. Really, I don't mind looking out for you. Uh, hubby, I, I... Don't be creepy. Hey, don't wipe your snot off on me. Kids are weird. Kids are weird. Kick the kid. Put the kid in the bag. But if you're going to stay with me, you have to promise me one thing. Never put me in that bag of yours ever again, all right? I kind of blurted that out in the heat of the moment. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. Oh well, at least she's not crying anymore, so that's good enough for now. Now kick him. Kick the child ever so lightly in the face. <laughs> it looks like women brought you a whole parcel of trouble, didn't they? Just like I said they would. Hey, you're that dodgy fortune teller from before. My life has been a nightmare thanks to your stupid prediction. I'm gonna make you pay for that. Oh, oh, oh. Who chose to walk that path despite my warning? And there's no need for you to be so angry. After all, my peach saved the day for you. Didn't it? That peach supposedly belonged to one of the seven gods of fortune. Then you must be... A potato. A walking bearded potato. Does he have really big testicles too? No, he's got a giant head and huge earlobes and a gibbon. A flying gibbon. It looks like you really put my mallet through the ringer. It's all dented and banged up now. Ah, Lord Fukuro Kuju. You came here looking for me? I'm not the only one. Everybody else came along as well. Dude, his beard is huge. It was already big before, but now it's massive. Oh, shit. That guy's got a huge fish. Abisu? Deikokutu? And is that Juroji? Benton? And Bishamote? Two? Holy crap, all seven gods of fortune in one place. All right, now set off a bomb. Murder them all. Then we can be them. That guy's got jolly big nipples. Okay. I want to be the guy with the big nipples. You seem to really regret what you did. Now, why don't we all go to hell and talk to your father? I really want to, but my dad's still pissed at me. After yelling at you in front of everyone, he probably feels he can't back down. But you're the apple of Lord Enma's eye. He's been sighing non-stop since you left. Really? But there are three treasures I still haven't tracked down yet. As for your peach, I ate it. Ho 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 ho! Don't worry, there will be other peaches. As for the other treasures, it'll turn up eventually. The hosts of hell were sent out to look for you and our treasures. Lord Enma is, a is at a complete loss as to what to do now. Nothing would make him happier than bringing you home. Seikichi, thank you for looking after Rajaki. You wouldn't mind if we take her off your hands now, would you? Um, of course not. I think it's great that Rajaki will be able to make amends with her dad. Why would I get in the way of something like that? I'll be back as soon as I finish up apologizing to my dad, so you'll wait for me. Right? Stop worrying about me and go square everything with your dad. Being forgiven by Enma himself? I'd kill for an opportunity like that. 
Try to live a forthright and productive life, Seikichi. Should you do so, I guarantee you'll be blessed with happiness. Don't worry, we'll be watching over you. Bye, baby. And there they go. Not only Lord Enma, but the seven gods of fortune? Sheesh. If I told anyone about what just happened, they'd think I was crazy. If the gods really are watching me now, I guess I'd better shape up. And honestly, I'm kind of over women right now. Maybe I should try to live a more productive life. Oh, look, he had a character arc. He actually grew. And then he's going to see boobies and be like, Boners! Oh, he's even got a skirt. Thank you for your patronage. Be careful on your way back home. Your steamy buns have gotten really popular as of late, huh? You watch your tongue, mister. I've been to a bunch of different places, but I've yet to find buns as delicious as yours. The flattery. Time to show you my leather cheerio. Sweet talk me all you want, you're still not getting any freebies. That's not what I was getting at. I just wanted to say that you've really grown up. Right around the campfire is that your boss arranged a good marriage for you. Oh that. Yeah, my boss is setting something up. After taking in a prodigal son like myself and training me to reach my full potential, I could hardly turn him down. Rumor says it's the daughter of the famous tea shop, Jizudo. She's supposed to be quite the beauty. You're seriously thinking about turning her down? That's what's stopping me. I went to take a gander at her. Like you said, she's really beautiful. I've been going back and forth about this, but I'm not sure I want to marry. Do you even listen to yourself when you talk? I suggest you stop hitting on every pretty girl that crosses your path and settle down. For example, my partner Hachi has been on top of the world since he got married, and since his wife had the child, his happiness knows no bounds. Now knows no bounds. I don't like that. You're talking about Yasahei? Yasahachi, right? But what about you, Kuma? Aren't you still single? Kuma's a bear. He's a bear. Shut it, you. I've never been in a position to get married. If you plan on turning her down, I'd be more than happy to take your place. Nah, it'd be a damn shame to give up such a beauty to someone else. But at the same time, the thought of not being able to play around anymore sucks. What should I do? Have your cake and eat it too. Bridal procession. Oh, we're a little kid. Yuck. Oh, here comes Seikichi's bride. Just look at the parade. So that's his future wife? She looks so pretty. Pretty. I don't give a shit. You happy? You angry? I kept putting off turning this... I kept putting off turning this whole thing down, and now the day has come. I feel like I made too rash of a decision. wonder if I should try to weasel out of it now. Seikichi, your bride looks really pretty. She's almost as beautiful as the goddess Kanan. Kanan? Kanan! Um, hearing her describe like that would be a waste if I didn't get her into a kimono at least once. But to be tied to a single woman? Not sure I could deal with that. No, don't talk to him. Why are you worried about putting people in kimonos? Banquet. Now that I find myself on the verge of being married, I realize that it's way too early for me to be having a wife. I need to come up with a way to get out of it. Everyone, listen up. I'm really sorry. I know I should have said something sooner, but I don't think I should be getting married right now, especially to you. Please forgive me. You see, there's this girl I already promised to marry. I meant to tell you about her, boss, but again, I'm really sorry. It's nice to know you haven't forgotten about me. If you had, I was going to beat you into a bloody pulp tonight when we went to bed together. What the shit? Don't sleep with children! And you are... I'm the demon girl you promised to marry back then. I guess you didn't recognize me without my horns and all this makeup. Oh, by the way, I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, good. 
Wait a second. Now that I look at your face, Rajaki? I'm now known as Ofuku, the daughter and sole heir of the Jizudo cheese shop. Cheese shop? Tea shop? What, what do you mean? How'd you become the daughter of some minor shopkeeper? Remember when I asked you to wait for me? As Lord Fuku Rokuju predicted, you really worked hard to lead a good life, so I was given permission to return to you. Didn't he say I'd be blessed with happiness or something? When did happiness mean you? The gods do have a sick sense of humor. Hold on for a second. You said you got permission? You mean from your real father? That is correct. I took a human form in order to witness my daughter's most joyous moment. And should you make her cry, your suffering will be legendary, even in hell. Alright, now let's lick his face to show that we care for him. The Lord Enma? I don't know what's going on here, but if she's the one you love, then what in the heck is the problem here? Right, boss? Come on, now sit up straight. We're in the middle of our wedding ceremony, after all. Yeah. She's, she got her hair and horns. Or is that her hat? Is her hat horns? That was the dumbest shit ending. <laughs> so stupid. Even after being adopted by his wife's family and taking over the business, Seikichi didn't stop womanizing, and when he got caught, Ofuku would smack him with a metal rod. That's it? And despite arguing almost constantly, they seemed happy to be together, although Ofuku kept Saikichi on a very short leash. Of course, Seikichi ended up in hell after leaving the mortal coil, but it stands the reason that he and his demon bride will continue to be happy together in the afterlife. And, though he died, Seikichi's buns remained a popular item due to the bits of yam mixed into the dough and that look like tiny metal rods, earning them the name Demon Buns. And though this marks the end of this story, no folktale of this type is officially over until the following phrase is said. Pargon, 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 Pargon. And they lived happily ever after. The end. To ping paralino poo. What? Uh, that was by far the easiest of the DLC. By far. That was so much quicker than the other. It, the uh, I actually like the combat probably in that the best. The kid form was was interesting. The adult form was interesting. We really didn't get to use the the big demon form. That was probably the least interesting out of everything. The big demon form is just kind of like, all right, yeah, let's just punch it and explode stuff. I mean, it, that one wasn't that bad. That one wasn't that bad. Thank goodness. <laughs> Considering after the last one took me like four hours to beat the last boss. Yeah, that one wasn't that bad. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I will take the ease of that one. I like that one. The story was a little creepy. The story was a little creepy. I don't understand this obsession in Japan about, like, young kids that are like, Okay, I'm gonna morph into it. It's just, it's creepy. Can we stop, like, doing weird things with children? Please, Japan? Like, that's just... Just, she didn't have to, there was no reason for her to be a child. She could have been an adult the entire time and just had a completely different form. Like, the child thing is completely unnecessary to it. It's just weird. It's just weird. Kids interacting with adults, perfectly fine. But, like, just that weird kind of, like, pseudo-sexual tension between kids and adults is just creepy. It just needs this. It's never okay. It's never okay. It's, it's the most disturbing thing that there is. And it just, it needs, it's not okay. It's just not okay. It bothers the hell out of me. But that one was probably one of, I mean, more on to like everything else. The bosses were cool. I like the spider lady. It actually reminded me a lot of uh, the, the Dark Souls one. Uh, not, I was going to say Flame Lurker. That's Demon Souls. There's the uh, Balrog, Malrog, Marf, Marflog, the, the spider lady, Quelag, Quelag. There's Quelag. The, that, that boss kind of, it's other than the fact that she didn't spit fire and magma all over the place, or lava. 
big pools of giant burning whatever vomit. But like the idea of like spider body, but like upper torso was like half naked lady. <laughs> kind of like Quaylek. It was a cool fight. Uh, the one before that, the witch. The witch was actually probably the most fun out of them because you just got to like smash her in the head, her giant head. And the first fight was pretty cool too, fighting the bear. I like that. I think all of the bosses in that one were much better. And see, even though that one had ads, it had like a couple of like extra enemies. It wasn't overkill. It wasn't like let's spam with like 8 billion enemies. That was much better. That was so much better. The, the fountain of uh, silk, though, coming out was kind of rough. Made it through that, though. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I like that one. Story's a little creepy. Story's a little creepy, but... My least favorite story, but my most favorite to play. My most favorite to play. I think out of all of them, my favorite one was The Farmers. I like that story probably the most out of all of them. The kitty one was cute, but eh. And the ninja one was all right too. I like the story in that one too, but the farmer one was that was that was some top tier stuff right there. I like that the most. I wish they somehow brought the bear back. They called the guy Kuma, and maybe he was supposed to be the bear. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. This 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 was the DLC was fun. The DLC was fun. I'm pretty much done with the game at this point, though. I can't go through and play the game four more times just to fight the bosses again. And one thing's for sure, I don't ever want to fight that skeleton boss again. I don't ever want to do that again. Maybe maybe if I went through and, like, maxed out the skill trees, uh, maybe there's, like, a cool, like, superpower there that might be really helpful, you know? That might mitigate some things or... Maybe we could go through and do, like, Night of Chaos and get the, like, spam, spam special skill. You know, the, uh, the bracelet or whatever that is. Maybe that would help. Against the final boss, we could just spam attack, spam attack, spam attack, and not take damage, maybe. There might be something like that. But I, I, I don't want to do that stuff again. We, I've, I've beat the main game, like five times at this point six times i don't i don't want to i don't want to go through that again i don't want to fight all 16 bosses again and then fight the final boss and that's 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 asking too much of the player you got to go through every area then fight every boss that's that's just too grindy for me as much as i would like to see the the four other endings i just i don't have that in me I just don't have it in me. This was fun. I'm glad we did the DLC. I was pretty much done with the game when we finished the main story, but I'm glad I played the DLC. It was fun. It was fun. A little frustrating due to like some controller issues. I'm going to work on that and see if we can fix whatever that is. I don't know what the, what the problem could be, but maybe I could also try a different controller and see if that helps as well. But I think it's some sort of like bandwidth that's, uh, that's interfering with it. Because I had this problem before with the PS4 and the and the and the PS4 controller, it's just some like sort of communication. Mr. Tittles Esquire, I guarantee you, Mr. Tittles is not a lawyer. There's no way Mr. Tittles is a lawyer. It's a cat, probably. No one's gonna name a dog Mr. Tittles Esquire. I say that, but someone's probably thinking about naming a dog Mr. Tittles Esquire. It's a terrible name for an animal. Uh, I also hope it's not a human being. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this one, hello, oh, come on game, please don't do that to me, I don't know if the thing crashed or if my controller's all jacked up, how do we turn it off? How do you how do you force turn off a controller? That's not good. Is there a way to do that? It's not it's not working. Shit, man. I want to save so we don't have to do that again. I guess there's no point, but on the off chance I would ever want to go back. Uh force shut off DS4.
turn off shut off i don't think really the terminology matters there's a quick way to turn off your ps4 controller and it's effective press and hold the ps button between the two analog sticks on your controller for 10 seconds i just did that and it didn't turn off Oh, shit. Yeah, it did. All right. Didn't do that. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely something goofy going on. Maybe the controller itself is just fucked up. I'll go digging through and try to find my, my other controller. Defeat all the enemies again! Honey, I can see hell from he. I can see hell from he, too. All right, cool beans. That's that's not everything that there is to do in Muramasa. We did just about everything that you can do in in the main game, and I can't. I'm not going to grind it out. I'm not having enough fun with this game to replay through it four more times. That's absurd. They should have made the grind for this way less. Like, okay, get the next ending, do something else. This is that's insane to do that. That's just. I like I like doing going for achievements and stuff in video games because I think that's fun, you know, a lot of the times. But sometimes developers are just like, let's waste the player's time with going for achievements. And this feels like one of those things where it's just a complete waste of time. Like, it's disrespectful to the player to do that kind of thing. I guess maybe if you were having fun and enjoying the grind and stuff, it's not that bad. And, I mean, in some way, you then get to play through the main game as, like, the DLC characters. I would actually prefer it as if they were unlockable, you know? So you could play through with them in the main game rather than having to do this. But I guess it works in the same way. It's just, at the end, you, ha you get the option to... Uh, have like a special ending from them but yeah i don't i don't have it in me to uh go through the game and try to unlock whatever that that other ending is for for all four of them that's that's just asking i think way too much of the player to do that it seems silly to me it seems better it is or isn't it seems silly but all right uh i will be back i will be back tonight and we will play something new. We are definitely done. I wanted to play something new. The, uh, I'm the only one streaming this again. I wanted to play something new before I realized there was DLC for it. I, that we were going to do through it. So I think we'll play that. Maybe. I don't know. We need a palate cleanser, though. I need a palate cleanser from, uh, from Muramasa. I also need something that's not going to be like so button mashy, man. My my thumb's starting to bother me from doing all that button mashing. Okay, hit one button 10,000 times. I would love to know. Like, I wish there was a counter in the game that told you how many times you hit the square button. <laughs> I, would, I would love to know. World of Tanks! Play World of Tanks! World of Tanks! I'm never playing World of Tanks. You play World of Tanks! You god, you of World of Tanks. You're probably the champion of World of Tanks, Joseph. I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got we've got a fun game that I said I was gonna play. No, just an average scrub. Nah, man, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me at everything. I am terrible. But yeah, we got a couple of things on the on the uh on the burner. I'm excited. I got I just got in the mail today something, so I guess yesterday technically. But I'm excited for it. That's a fun one. We got we got a fun game coming up, one that I'm super excited to play, like super duper excited to play. Very pumped to play it. Super duper. I don't know that we'll start that up tonight. It might be something different. Because I need I think I need to give my hands like a little bit of a rest. Uh so maybe we'll play something that'll be a little bit like more calm, palate cleansing after Muramasa, and then we'll uh because like during boss fights, man, I got like this vice grip hold on the controller and I'm just like, oh 
I gotta remember to like relax my hands. It starts to hurt. <laughs> it starts to hurt my arms after a while. I shouldn't do that, but it's really easy to do. It's really easy to have that vice grip on the controller. I don't think I'm the only one that ever does stuff like that. I gotta do some like hand exercises and stuff, you know. All right, but that's gonna do it for me. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I had fun playing this, albeit maybe a couple of frustrating moments, but still had some fun playing it. Uh, I'll be back tonight, and we'll start up something new. As to what that is, I'm not quite sure. I'm leaning in a certain direction, but I don't know. Thanks for hanging out, Otis. I appreciate it, homie. Uh, I don't see anyone I know that we're going to raid today, so I think we're just going to call it. I think we're just going to call it. Nobody's playing Muramasa, and I don't see anybody I know that I would like to uh, raid right now. So either way, guys, enjoy yourselves. Have great mornings, afternoons, evenings, whatever you got going on today. Just have a fantastic, beautiful, lovely, wonderful day. And I'll be back tonight. Peace out. Bye-bye.